Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to enable a test payment, a payment on an arrival or a direct bank transfer to your hotel booking website. The first thing you have to do is that you should be logged into your hotel booking website and simply just come over here to accommodations, head straight down to settings and under settings then we have options general admin emails and then there is another option right here at the extreme end called payment gateways and right under this section there is a note that says payment methods will appear on the checkout page only when confirmation upon payment is enabled in the accommodation setting general confirmation mode so that means that you have to come back here to the general settings and right down here there is something called confirmation and of course the confirmation is either by the customer via email or admin manually or confirmation upon payment now once you select confirmation by the customer that means that once a customer places a booking they receive an email for example this email and in the email they have this information over here and the client name is listed in that email that is sent to them and they have this link over here that they simply have to click on and they confirm the booking and in that email that is sent to the client there is this link right here that they have to click on and they confirm their reservation and once they click on that link their reservation will be made on this website now that is the first confirmation mode via email the other confirmation mode is when the admin manually approves a reservation for example when you come over here to bookings all bookings when i click here on edit on a specific booking I have the option over here called confirmed and that means that i'll have confirmed this specific booking as an administrator and i simply just have to say update booking and when i come back here to the bookings the status will have changed from cancelled to now confirmed now that means that i've approved this booking as an administrator now the other option is basically coming back here to accommodations settings and we have to enable the confirmation upon payment and once you have this selected simply just come down here and save changes now once you save changes then you're going to come straight to your payment gateways and here we are going to set up our payments now the first thing you have to do is you have to specify what the user actually will pay whether the user has to pay a full price or a deposit we want to collect a full price and if you are choosing a deposit you can either choose that the client actually pays a specific fixed fee or a percentage of the deposit and on the other hand if you choose the deposit amount to be fixed then right down here you have to specify the deposit amount that is fixed if it's a percentage right down here you have to state that percentage in this case it can be 10 percent but of course for us we want to pay the user to pay the full amount and then down here there's something called for secure checkout this protects your users from money in the middle attacks that normally hackers target hotel booking websites or transactional websites to collect or steal user information now this is very important that you actually have an ssl enabled on your website an ssl is basically having a padlock like this and your website says connection is secure now if you don't know how to enable an SSL on your website I'm going to leave a link right down in the description box of this video to show you how to add an SSL to your website now on the other hand there is another option that says reservation received page and right down here you have to choose which page shows which reservations have been received of course I showed you how to create these pages or even how to install them once you're installing the hotel booking engine and in case a transaction has failed your clients will be redirected to a page that shows them that actually their transaction has failed and the default payment gateway is where we select which kind of payment gateway so we are going to come back right here after setting which payment gateway we want to use and the pending payment time this is the period of time in minutes the user is given to complete the payment now this is also shown right in the inbox of the user so when i come over here to the email inbox where a client was sent an email to confirm their booking right down here there is something called link expires on this date at that time now this is basically translating to what is here pending payment time you can specify that right here you can give your clients maybe an hour 30 minutes two hours 24 hours depending on your terms of the hotel now let's go and select what kind of payment gateway we want to use at the moment to collect payments from our clients we may choose from a variety but for now in this video i'm going to take you through the test payment pay on arrival direct transfer I'm going to create separate videos for the PayPal payment option to check out payment option, Stripe payment option. And please check them right down in the description box below. 
So how do we enable the test payment type? So the test payment type is for you, the administrator, as you're trying to set up your website and you want to test how your payments will come through on your website. You simply just come over here and say enable and then a test mode, say enable sandbox mode. And of course, you have to set the title of this kind of payment. You can describe this kind of payment in your own words. For example, this is only for testing purposes. Then you simply save changes. Now, this means that you have enabled a test payment type on your website. So when you come back here to the general settings and scroll down here, you're going to be able to select a payment type. In this case, we're going to select test payment. And then we're going to set save changes. Okay, now next what I'm going to do is open up here my hotel homepage. I'm going to place a booking, for example, randomly. I'm just one adult. I'm going to simply reserve this room, the first one. And I'm simply one adult, no kid. Those are my names. The price breakdown is just right here. And right down here, I can enter in the details of my booking. That's my email. Down here, I'll add a phone number, country of residence, and then here I'll say, I'm testing this payment type. Okay, now down here, automatically the payment method will show up, for example, the payment method here is called test payment. This is only for testing purposes only, and the total price is $1.70. So in this case, we're not actually going to pay any amount of money simply because we are testing the payment. So when I say I've read and accepted the terms and conditions, I simply book. Okay, now the client is redirected to this kind of page where it displays their booking details and the booking ID, the check-in date, checkout time, the amount, and the status of the booking, and the payment type, the payment is actually completed because we chose to use a test payment and we are not actually making any payment at the moment. However, the administrator still gets an email of a confirmed booking, which is this over right here, confirmed booking, the booking ID, the booking details, the person who has placed the booking and the room and all the details and the amount they have actually paid. The same is going to happen to the client's inbox. Their booking will show up over right here uh, the hotel logo right here they are booking which is actually approved because in our settings we have made it that all bookings that have been paid will automatically be approved so this means that this booking has been approved and the booking id is that and all the details right here now the client is receiving this email in their inbox now when we come back here to our dashboard we are going to simply go straight to bookings and all bookings and specifically this booking id which is booking 222 is being confirmed and that booking has paid so when you look into right here in the edit options and you see that actually the payment id is this and the status is completed that means that your client has paid a total of 78 dollars and nothing more they have to pay at the moment so that is one way on how you can set up a payment gateway or a test payment on your website so the other way is simply coming back here to the accommodations come to settings and under settings we come over here to payment gateways and remember at the first place, we enable the test payment by enabling the test payment. But in this case now, we are going to disable the test payment. I'm going to save changes. I'm going to enable the other payment option called pay on arrival. I'll enable that. And I'll simply just enter the title of the payment option and the description uh, pay cash on arrival. You can add instructions on how the client will actually make the payment. After that, you simply save changes and then come over here to general settings. Come straight down here and then enable the default gateway. Okay, which is pay on arrival, save changes. So we head back to our website so that we can place a test reservation again. So in this case, on the 23rd, maybe five nights, two adults, one child. So we search. Uh, a recommended room is a deluxe room. I'll reserve this room. We are two adults, one child. These are the booking details. The name of the person. Right here, the client can choose the rate that they want to use. And down here, maybe I can add the gym just for once. 
and down here is the price breakdown so i can now simply enter in my information as a client last name this information is basically for testing purposes so i'll enter in the email i want to use for this booking enter in the phone number i can change the country and then down here i can add i will pay on arrival and it's not that down here my booking confirmation page will bring me the payment option that is available or the payment gateway that is available which is pay on arrival and i'll pay a total price of this amount so i simply just say book and that means that i won't be having to use either my debit card or credit card to make this payment now once the payment has been reserved it means that this booking will actually be confirmed but the payment will not be confirmed because it is on hold until i arrive at the hotel and make the actual payment when i come back here to my dashboard i'm going to go to the bookings area all bookings you see that there is another booking which is this over here bookings two to five when i edit the booking the booking has been confirmed just like it is stated over here but when we scroll down here below there is something called the total booking price is this amount and the payment id is this and the status it is on hold it is on hold because actually the client has to pay this amount on arrival so the total paid is zero and the amount to pay is two four four dollars so in case the client comes to our hotel and they actually pay on arrival we simply just add a manual payment over here and we'll have their payment confirmed and this will take us right here at the moment the client has arrived it's a manual payment and the amount is right here and the fees for this specific payment is zero they are basically making the payment on arrival and the booking id is that over here the client details and what i simply have to do is to create the payment now once i create the payment that means that the client has now made a payment for this booking when i come back here to my bookings all bookings i'm going to open this specific booking and i'm going to scroll right down here to the total price breakdown and you see that the payment id it has been completed because at first it was on hold and then later on when they arrived at our hotel we went on and added a manual payment and they paid all the amount for their specific booking and the amount to pay so far is zero so that means that their booking will have been confirmed and now they can check in at our hotel so with all those changes with payments and bookings the client will still receive notifications in their email for example when i come over here to the inbox of the client in the inbox when i look at the booking of the client which is two to five opening the booking here it's called your booking is approved dear zamzam you're booking for this period uh, they can do the booking over here they can still cancel the booking but at this time of course they are the hotel and if they click over here to view the booking which is approved it will now tell them hey your booking details are this the status and all that and the payment and they receive an email that your booking is approved and that's all and of course this email will have all the other booking details included right within here and of course the administrator will also receive an email notification in the business email and it will also detail the confirmed booking the booking id the payment method and all that stuff right down here in that email the other way to make a payment we are going to come back here to our settings and we come to payment gateways and we are going to choose direct bank transfer and of course here we have to enable that they can make a direct bank transfer we can enter here the title of that payment type and right here we can add a description for example we can say make your payment directly in our bank account please use your booking id as the payment reference we can add here our banking details and all that stuff this information will be seen at the checkout page so i simply save changes at the moment unlike the first test payment we are going to leave these two options checked for example the pay on arrival and the direct bank transfer now this means that the client once they reach the checkout page they'll have two options whether to choose pay on arrival or to make a direct bank transfer so now let's come back here to the general settings and down here we are going to have a default payment gateway now what the default payment gateway means that when someone reaches the checkout page 
they have the default option to actually make that payment. So in this case, it is pay on arrival, but I want to switch it to direct bank transfer. Now that means that when the client reaches at the checkout page, they have the first option by default selected is direct bank transfer, but they can also switch and use the other payment option, which is pay on arrival. So I'm going to save changes. I'm going to come back here to our hotel and I'm going to place another reservation. I'm going to search over here, any accommodation, um, one adult with one kid. At the moment, it's recommending a standard room, which is okay. And here I'm going to say one adult, one room, which is the booking confirmations page. I'm going to enter in the name of the guest. You can add additional services right here. For now, I'm not interested. And then over here, I can add all the details. For me as a client, I will add the email for the client or I'll add my client email. I'll add my phone number as a client. I'll add the country where I'm coming from. And of course, here yeah, some notes to the hotel in case I have any. And boom, down here, you see we have a payment method. And by default, we are having direct bank transfer. When you come back here to the settings and look at the general settings, you see that we have the default payment gateway as the direct bank transfer. And that is what has been shown over right here. But as a client, if I don't want to do the direct bank transfer, I can choose to say pay on arrival, and then I am good to go and check out right here. So in a nutshell, that's how you can enable a test payment, a payment on arrival, or a direct bank transfer for your hotel website. In case you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.